Hello and welcome to today's video, where we'll be taking you through the installation and removal process of the Otterbox Defender protective case. Otterbox has a reputation for being high quality and immensely protective, yet they're also extremely fiddly and notoriously difficult to take on and off. Today we'll be showing you these processes on some of the latest smartphones on the market, but this case is also available for a variety of makes and models, making this a very versatile must-have product. To begin, we're going to take you through the installation steps. It's very quick and easy and only takes two to three steps to complete. But before we start, I'm going to lay out all of the sections clearly so we know what we're working with. As you'll see, there are three parts, the outer rubber shell and the two part inner frame that houses the phone. Step one, start with the bottom half of the frame lying flat on the table and place the phone in the tray facing up. Now take the top part of the frame and place it over the top of the phone. As you'll see along the sides, the frame has a series of clips along the edges indicated by the arrows on the back. Each clip matches up with the upper frame to lock the phone into place. Working your way around the edges, push each clip into place, making sure that they're all locked down. Step 2. Take the outer rubber shell and place the phone inside the casing, starting with the top end first before pushing the bottom half into place. To seal the outer shell around the inner frame, push the phone into the base from the bottom first before gently pushing the edges in and over the lip around the screen. Step 3. Check all the buttons and ports are positioned correctly inside the rubber casing by pushing in all of the dust caps and checking all of the button covers are in place to finish the process. So now you've got a completely protective phone that gives the ultimate 360 protection from anything that life throws at it. But if there comes a time where you need to remove the case, it's just as simple as putting it on, but in reverse order. Step 1. Use your finger to pry away the outer shell along the seam that runs the length of the screen. It's best to start from the bottom near the ports and work your way around it, pulling it away bit by bit. If you struggle to get under the outer shell, you can always pop out the charging port dust cover and use this to lift it away as a starting point. Step 2. Now you have the outer shell off, you need to undo all of the catches along the edge. To do this, start on one side and begin lifting the catch from the bottom to release the top frame, using a finger or a coin to help ease it apart. Step 3. Once the frame is loose, lift it away and take the phone from the bottom of the tray. You can now clip the frame back together and reattach the outer shell for easy storage. So there you have it, three easy steps to installing and removing the Otterbox Defender to give your phone the best complete protection. The Defender series does come in various styles depending on what phone you have, but the installation process is always the same from phone to phone. We'll be leaving links in the description below for the Otterbox Defender seen in this video, demonstrated on both the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more quality smartphone accessory reviews and tech demonstrations. Thanks for watching.